Hello everyone, Vincent Hill from HDTV Test here. The Xbox Series X next-gen console is not available to buy for the general public yet. It is scheduled to hit store shelves sometime next month, maybe in the middle of November. But certain sections of the media, including those who deal primarily with console gaming, have received their pre-production or review sample of the Xbox Series X, and one of them who I respect and follow, a content creator at Digital Foundry called John Linneman, has tweeted that the Xbox Series X doesn't appear to support Dolby Vision playback from its 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray drive. Now, just like the Xbox One X, the Xbox Series X will have a 4K Blu-ray player. But based on John's tweet, it appears that the Xbox Series X will follow the Xbox One X in not supporting Dolby Vision playback. And if that is indeed the case, when you know we get our hands on an actual retail sample sometime next month, then I can only surmise that the reason is because the Xbox Series X is using low latency Dolby Vision rather than the full fat hardware chip-based Dolby Vision implementation. So just to clarify, there are two main Dolby Vision implementations on the market, and the low latency version is made famous by Sony televisions, probably from a couple of years or even three years ago. So with low latency Dolby Vision, it is also known as player-led Dolby Vision. What this means is that most of the tone mapping, most of the frame by frame color mapping and tone mapping will be done by the source player rather than by the display. On the other side of the equation, you have TV-led Dolby Vision, which is the superior version, in my opinion, used on most of the TV manufacturers, including LG Electronics. They are the biggest supporter of Dolby Vision from the off. So LG TVs are using TV-led Dolby Vision. And Panasonic is also using TV-led Dolby Vision, Vizio, TCL. I think, you know, every single TV brand on the market is using TV-led Dolby Vision except for Sony who has stuck with low latency Dolby Vision or player-led Dolby Vision until recently. Now, I found something quite interesting with the XH90 or known as X900H in the USA, which I shall come out with another video shortly. But until recently, Sony is exclusively using low latency Dolby Vision. And on the Xbox One X, it is also using low latency Dolby Vision, which is why you can see that the Dolby Vision is supported only on the internal apps, let's say Netflix and also Amazon Prime Video, if it actually indeed does have some Dolby Vision content. It is only supported on these apps rather than its 4K Blu-ray drive. And I think the same situation applies to the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X, as far as I can understand, is going to be using low latency Dolby Vision rather than the full fat version of Dolby Vision implementation. And this will have some implications for the games as well. So obviously one of the big thing about Xbox Series X is that they have promoted their Dolby Vision support for games sometime in 2021. But from what we can tell, this is still going to be based on low latency Dolby Vision rather than the full fat hardware based Dolby Vision that we have come to expect from, let's say, 4K Blu-ray players. And the thing is with low latency Dolby Vision or player led Dolby Vision is that, you know, the frame by frame or even scene by scene tone mapping is not as precise as the full fat Dolby Vision implementation, such as those found on LG, Philips, Panasonic, Vizio, TCL TVs. And the reason is because with TV-led Dolby Vision, the calibration of the Dolby Vision profile can be done on the display itself, and it can actually feed its white point, its peak brightness, its color coordinates into the Dolby Vision color mapping engine. Whereas with low latency Dolby Vision, everything is done by the source and we have only a set of edit data from the display to feed to the source and then the source will decide how the tone mapping will be done. And this is a lot less precise than what TV-led Dolby Vision is doing. 
And that is probably the main reason why I have always felt that the Dolby Vision presentation on Sony TVs, which until today have been using low latency Dolby Vision, has been slightly inferior to the output from, let's say, LG OLEDs or any Panasonic TVs with Dolby Vision support because they are using the full fat Dolby Vision, which takes into account the individual bespoke parameters of the individual unit to actually perform the scene by scene or even frame by frame tone mapping. So that is it in a nutshell. Let me know what you think about this news that the Xbox Series X may not support Dolby Vision on its 4K Blu-ray disc. Do you even care? Do you even buy 4K Blu-rays? And also, obviously, the other elephant in the room is that, you know, will the Xbox Series X still support 3D Blu-ray playback? I know some of you will be jumping on me in the comment section, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, there are no TVs out there that supports 3D currently that you can buy new with warranty now. And that's just the reality of the situation. But yes, if you'd like to learn more about next-gen consoles and HDMI 2.1, I've created a playlist here, and I'll see you in the next video.